Hi, Brad from Brad and Hall back with you again. Uh, we're standing here in front of a Newmar Mountaineer. It's a 2000 that uh, we've just taken the carpet out and also removed a bunch of ceramic tile. And we're going to put down the Dura Ceramic uh, lima, it's, a, it's a limestone composite tile by Congolium. Real nice product. It's real durable. Doesn't add nearly as much weight as ceramic does, real porcelain, whatever, tile. And it is also uh, it's flexible. And on this one, we're going to do uh, a grout. So a lot of the jobs we've been doing, we're doing the groutless look. It's a little more contemporary, a little more modern. But to this one, we're actually going to do a, a grout. And they have a special uh, acrylic adhesive grout that goes in there that's also flexible. So it won't crack and pop out of the, the seams between the tiles. So let me take you inside. I think they've got everything prepped. We're just getting ready uh, to do it here. You can see we've got just about everything out. in here and show you we are gonna have to do a little bit of repair a lot of people surprised to know that a lot of these units when we go to take the carpet out or take uh, the old flooring out of here a lot of times we find uh, water damage and if you look down here you can see it but if you see right here I can actually take my finger and push my finger through the wood right there so we're gonna have to take this piece out you can see that right there that's really bad probably just from the window leaking in so we have to take that out and replace that. <clears throat> Let me go back in here and show you. We've got all the carpet out and about a million staples. Whoever put the carpet down on this one was real happy with the staple gun. You see we've got everything out of the slide. We've got that all cleaned up. And we are putting carpet back in the slide. And then we'll also replace the carpet up across the front there. And we have to put a little bit of carpet around the pedals up here because of the way the floor is. You can see it's recessed. Do have a little piece of wood in there where they had the carpet stapled to. So we have a little bit of carpet around here. We'll redo the carpet around the uh, steering wheel there. And then we're going to trim it out with this uh, nice cherry transition molding here to go around it to kind of transition between that and the tile. So let me take you back here. <clears throat> we're also on some of these, the older Numars, they actually put the tile in. This has only got a single slide. And the tile actually had linoleum down. I'm not sure why that's there, but there was tile on it. We had to cut the tile and break all the tile up. And you can see we've already ground down the floor. There was uh, This was a little bit easier to do because they had a subfloor underneath the tile. So once we get the tile broken up, we can actually cut the subfloor out, which is a thin piece of Luan. But it makes it a lot easier. The Numars are nice that way. A lot of the Monaco's, they glue that tile right to the subfloor. And there's no way to get it around it. You can see some of the subfloor the Luan that they had here where we get, took the tile out. We still got to cut the rest of this. We're getting that out right now. If you look back in here, we actually already cut it off of this side. We still have to take it off this side. So we're back here in the bedroom. I'm not sure. I have to look at the paperwork. I'm not sure if we're changing the carpet in here or not. I assume we probably are. Let me show you this back here. We actually took the old TV out of here. I've got this uh, framed up. We're going to put a 22-inch TV in here with a uh, with a bracket so they can pull it out as they want it. We'll put a and to access the storage behind there. There's our bracket right there. We'll also do a new trim ring around here to finish this off to kind of hide the uh, the TV because the TV's not going to cover this whole space. As you can see, it had the old big old square tube type in there. Another thing we did is we framed this out in here. We actually put a little doorway in here. Uh, that you can access from inside the closet here. I don't know how good you can see that. I can pop this light on. So we just put a little, little cedar closet here. We put a little doorway in there. They're actually going to put a safe back in behind the TV. So unless somebody gets in their closet and pulls the clothes out, they're not really going to see it. But there's going to be a safe back there. They'll probably screw that down to the cabinet also. So that's that. You can see we got a trip tilted. On the newer TVs, a lot of the LCDs, you have to tilt them a little bit when they're up high like this or you lose some of the field of vision if you're laying in bed trying to look up at the TV. So we'll put an angle on the TV and we mount that in here. So I'll come up here, show you this. We're also going to have to put some spacers underneath the flooring here or underneath the edge of the cabinets because some of the tiles as we took them out, um, there's actually a gap down there as you can probably see right there. So we're going to have to fill that in to support the weight of the cabinet. And then we'll put the, the Dura Ceramic down. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we got some uh, 
pretty much all our jobs now, we're actually using real hardwood shoe molding all the way around. So we've got some, this is like a Washington cherry right here. So we have one of our Amish guys made up some Washington cherry shoe molding for us. So when we get the tile down, we'll run trim all the way along the wall here, all the way here, all the way back around here. So this will be all trimmed out to cover any gaps or any spaces or any wood spacers that you see underneath there. So that's it for right now. We're getting ready to put the, almost ready to, got the floor cleaned up. You can see we had about uh, 10 or 15 dustpan full of uh, staples and old carpet foam. So that's coming up, getting ready to put down the dirt ceramic. So I'll keep you posted and show you how it goes. Thanks, bye. Okay, here we are with our 2000 Newmar Mountaineer. You see her down there. She's completely done. Folks are picking it up in about 10 minutes. So I'll show you what, what we got here. Okay, here's the step well. See, we redid the carpet on the inside. It's a lighter, car it's a lighter color carpet, I know, but um, it's what they chose. It looks nice inside. Um, these mats we made, not sure how long those will work in that color, but we replaced all the rubber trim in there. Looks really nice, recovered the step cover. And here we did a Dura Ceramic by Congolium, and we did the grout. <coughs> See, so we did a little mat for the driver there. Goes around the driver's seat. We had to wrap that area in carpet around the pedals and stuff because that is a, uh, it's not a flat surface so we couldn't really run the tile up there. But look at this. Check this out. There's the new uh, Thor chair from Laffer. Actually made a little rubber pad, rubber backed uh, carpet pad for underneath it. If you look at the detail on the floor, you can see the ceramic tile. It's not real ceramic, it's Dura ceramic. It's a limestone composite, it's flexible, won't crack. Same thing with the grout. The grout is an acrylic grout. It's made specifically by Congolium to work with this tile. It actually adheres to the edge when you put it down, unlike regular mastic does. They kept the same furniture over here and the dinette chairs. I think they're gonna recover those. But as you come back here, you can see we replaced the carpet and the slide, redid all that. We took a lot of ceramic tile out of this as if you look at the before video and the after video. Come back here, made a little carpet for there. Let's come in the bathroom. You can see we uh, did a new carpet here. It's got a rubber, I'll show you again, it's got the anti-skid rubber back laminate on the back so it doesn't slide around. A nice bound edge. This was all ceramic in here we took out. This took a lot to get out of here. This is all the new Dura ceramic in the bathroom. Redid all that, as you can see. Back in the bedroom, we just did carpet back here. It's nice to get out of bed in the morning and put your feet on soft, nice, warm carpet. And I'll show you over here. We also did the TV. So we've got that done right there. Put a new 22 inch uh, LCD in there, or 23 inch. And that's all ready to go. They had an old tube TV in there. Another little thing we did, we also put a little access door. Oops, sorry about that. Put a little access door back here. I'll show you this. So now they got a little secret storage area. Once they get their clothes and everything in there, this door will kind of be hidden. They might put a little safe in there too. It gives them a little secret place to hide stuff. So that's that. You can see we had to slant this underneath here for the speakers because the speakers are on the bottom. So we had to build it out a little bit and see how we build it out over here. I'll show you over here. See how we bolt that out right there. Give you a good angle. If you don't mount them at an angle and mount them that high, you won't be able to see the picture very good if you're laying in bed. So that's it. That's our 2000 Newmar Mountaineer. It's all done. If we can do something for you like this in your motorhome, just uh, give us a call or email us at uh, bradenhall.com. Once again, thanks for stopping by.